Hello YouTube and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create holes in your mesh without going through the hassle of using a Pro Boolean. This is going to be the simplest method without ruining your mesh or anything such like that. So let's get started. I'm going to show you first on a plane. So just draw your plane out. You want it to be about the same size. I got lucky and that was perfect. I drew it out so well. Wow, I can't believe they came out so perfect. Anyways, uh, you're going to want your uh, your length and your width to be the same. You're going to want two, just like so. Now, this is just showing you on a plane. Uh, I will then show you how to implement this on your mesh or your object or whatever it is that you want to put a hole in, such as like an iPhone. They have holes in the side. You know, like there's tons of different things you can use a hole for. So now that we have this, we're going to convert to a edible poly. Now you're going to go to your vertex mode and you're going to grab the middle and each of the corners. Once you do all that, you can either click connect down here or you can just right click and hit connect. So now you have these crossing intersections here. What you're going to want to do next is grab the middle vertice and you're going to throw a chamfer on it. Once you chamfer it, you're going to make that however big you want your hole to be. You can then go ahead, delete that, and you can see when you throw on a turbo, it will give you a nice perfect circle. Now, obviously, you know, all the sides are smooth and stuff too. So let's go ahead and implement this on, you know, like a box, for instance. So you have your box here. Let's uh, make it the same all the way around. And we'll do two on each side. So let's say you want a hole going all the way through your box. Instead of going through the messy process of, oops, that's a little bit big. Instead of doing the messy process of making a cylinder and doing a Boolean and all that, all you're gonna do, we're gonna do the same process but on the two sides that you want your hole. So let's say you want it going through here and over to there. Actually, we'll do on the sides. So you're gonna do on each side, you're gonna grab your four corners once again, plus the middle, right click, do a connect, and go to the other side where you want your hole to come out at, and do the exact same thing. Connect. Now you're gonna grab both of your middle vertices and do a chamfer. Make that however large that you want your hole to be. So now you can go ahead and grab both of those middle circles and delete them. Next, you can push three or click on your border and grab both of these and then hold down control and hit the edge to keep that selected. You're then going to do a bridge. Not like that, even though it looks like something from 007. Uh, undo that. Make sure you deselect you know, two of those and then hit bridge again to start bridging. You can then take this last one here and bridge that together as well. So now you have this nice hole going through the middle of your cube. So now let's say you want to implement this on something real life. I have this car that I've been working on right here. And uh, let's say you want to take your exhaust, instead of going having the exhaust go out the back right here, let's say now I want my exhaust to come out the side of the wide body kit. So I want my exhaust to come out right here. Or you can do it over here, you can do it on your hood, wherever you want your exhaust to come out at. Let's say you want to do it there. So you're going to want to go back a couple steps because you're going to want to turbo smooth your hole, obviously. Because if we create a hole on this, one, it can only be as big as the little four squares that we have. So to create a hole, you always got to have four squares. So those four right there would be my hole, and that's as big as it would be, and that would not be big enough for my exhaust. So I'm going to go back to my beginning step, and you see here, I have this nice perfect little spot right here that I may want my exhaust to come out of, for instance. So we're going to do the same process. So let's say like this wasn't here, and you wanted it to be right here and not back here. Just add in, I, just, I click on this, I hold shift, click on another line, that's how you ring. So if you're curious about that. Click on line, hold shift, hit the line you want, and it'll ring it. Just so you know. Uh, and then 
you can connect it and you can just add in wherever you want. Just make sure that you can create this little four square thing here. So we're gonna go once again, grab our four corners, the middle, connect all of those, take the middle one, and then chamfer that. And I wanna make this to the size of my exhaust hole. So now I got that hole there, which is perfect. So now you can see though, if I didn't turbo smooth, you're just gonna have this jagged hole there. And unless that's what you're going for, you're gonna to want to add a turbo smooth. And I got two smooths on here, plus a small shell to give it a little bit of thickness. So now I could also do the same thing here. I could, well, I uh, was foolish and I collapsed everything, but you know, you would make a hole there as well. And then I would run my exhaust through this corner hole here now. So I hope that was informative for you guys and you learned something. Um, you don't also don't need to make a hole with it either. As you can see that I've done right here, you can take this, let's undo this, Control Z a whole bunch, go back, and you can then use this to make like an indent basically. So you can then go into your soft selection, turn that on. You're going to want this to be much smaller obviously to the size of the area that you want probably about right there and oops i have um i have edge restraints on make sure you have that off go back to my soft selection you can then go ahead and push that in so maybe that's what you want with it and uh, you needed to create this little area here you know that's a great way of doing that also, as you notice, this is not a perfect circle. It's kind of oblong. Uh, something else I highly recommend is if you create this and you have this area, little area, sometimes this isn't going to be perfect. Like, let's do something like that. You can always go into your modifier list and search for Spherify, and then that will create a nice perfect little circle. So I hope this was informative and you guys learned something from this. I'm sorry I haven't made any videos. Like I said, I was in the process of moving and being in Texas has been a little bit hectic. I've been trying to find a job, but I wanted to get a video out there for you guys. And this is something that's always really useful and I hope you can make use of it. Thank you for watching. I'm glad you guys stuck around and I hope to make more videos for you guys in the future. Thank you for watching and have a good spring. Goodbye.